it's with profound sadness, but also great thankfulness, that we remember Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, who served so faithfully. As Britain's longest reigning monarch, the majority of us have never known a time when Queen Elizabeth II has not been on the throne. She has been a constant presence in an ever-changing world. When she was ten, her uncle, King Edward VIII, abdicated, and her father became King George VI. In 1947, the Queen married Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, and they were married for 73 years. The Queen had four children, eight grandchildren, and twelve great-grandchildren. She saw many Prime Ministers come and go. Although the Queen was a world leader, she was consistently kind, hard-working, and respectful. She bestowed honour on those who made great contributions to society, but she also paid tribute to ordinary people, whose work went unseen and unrewarded. The Queen carried out her duty to her country, cheerfully and faithfully. The Queen was also a Christian, and was always open about her faith. Six months before her coronation, she asked the people of the Commonwealth and the United Kingdom to pray for her, that God may give me wisdom and strength to carry out the solemn promises I shall be making, and that I may faithfully serve him and you all the days of my life. God has certainly answered these prayers throughout her reign. In her 2002 Christmas Day broadcast, she said, I know just how much I rely on my faith to guide me through the good times and the bad. Each day is a new beginning. I draw strength from the message of hope in the Christian gospel. In 2014, she called Jesus her inspiration, role model and anchor, who stretched out his hands in love, acceptance and healing on the cross. Jesus is the king of all kings and queens the ruler, reigner, and creator of the whole world, yet he came to serve, not to be served. In 2011, the Queen spoke of our need for salvation from our recklessness and our greed. She said, God sent into the world a unique person, neither a philosopher nor a general, important though they are, but a saviour with the power to forgive. We will forever be humbled and inspired by her determination to dedicate her life to her throne, her people and her God. We honour her for her years of service, devoted to both her country and God, and we thank Jesus, the King of all, for our Queen who served her King.